Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Welcome to my Tai Chi class for today. You guys have been learning Yang style Tai Chi from me here and also from jakemace.com. And it looks like this. Section one begins with rising and sinking. This is traditional Tai Chi. Hold the ball, step to the right. Step forward and grasp the sparrow's tail. Step to the right, grasp the sparrow's tail. Then the four actions, ward off, roll back, press, push. After we turn, we do reel the silk and balance, and then single whip with the left hand, which is also called the dan bien. And that is section one of traditional yang style tai chi done very poorly. So there was no stances, there was no commitment to movement, and I wanted to talk about in this lesson the commitment to your form as if your life is about to be threatened. And doing the forms combatively. When you perform your tai chi, even if you have no interest in the fighting aspects of Tai Chi, you want to do the form as if you're fighting. And then you want to fight as if you're doing the form, yin and yang. So let's do section one again, and let's pretend that at any moment, my opponent could jump out from the left, or from the right, or from the heavens, or from the earth. And so I want to be as rooted as a redwood tree during every movement of my practice. my friends, is how Tai Chi should be done. The legs of Tai Chi are the yang. The upper body and arms of Tai Chi is the yin. And you should be doing your Tai Chi practice until you're winded and sweating. If you're not winded and sweating, you weren't practicing it hard enough with enough realism. Have a great Tai Chi practice. Try section one right now. If you need help, then get our DVD at jakemace.com. Of a DVD download there as well. Make sure every movement is rooted and powerful as if at any moment your nemesis will challenge you. And you must have the power of the redwoods down below but the softness of the clouds up top.